The government is like a baby's alimentary canal, with a happy appetite at one end and no responsibility at the other. Looking back at the recent history of the world, I find it amazing how far civilization has retrogressed so quickly. As recently as World War I, granted the rules were violated at times, we had a set of rules of warfare in which armies didn't make war against civilians, soldiers fought soldiers. Then came World War II and Hitler's philosophy of total war, which meant the bombing not only of soldiers but of factories that produced their rifles, and, if surrounding communities were also hit, that was to be accepted. Then, as the war progressed, it became common for the combatants simply to attack civilians as part of military strategy. By the time the 1980s rolled around, we were placing our entire faith in a weapon whose fundamental target was the civilian population. If freedom, democracy, and the rights of man are to be preserved through the ages, free men and women must accept the responsibilities that go with their freedoms. We think there is a parallel between federal involvement in education and the decline in profit over recent years. Not only had this produced a lot of inferior judges, it had placed a number of partisans on the bench who believed that putting on the black robes of a judge gave them a license to rewrite the laws. I wanted judges who would interpret the Constitution, not rewrite it. My philosophy of life is that if we make up our mind what we are going to make of our lives, then work hard toward that goal, we never lose, somehow we win out. For more than five years, I'd made little progress with my efforts at quiet diplomacy, for one thing, the Soviet leaders kept dying on me, 